Preparing your answers for FN visa interview is good, but do you know what is more important? Practicing them. And this is where mock interviews come in. This video, we're going to do just that. You're going to be taking a mock interview session with me. So let's get started. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you'll find tons of useful videos in the US visa process. We have an entire playlist for F1 visa. We also have a lot of free resources and downloads. All of this is mentioned in the description box below. So make sure to check it out. So at this point of time, you should have answers to all the main questions for the F1 visa interview prepared, particularly with respect to the course, the university and the funding. If you haven't done that till now, pause this video right here and go check out these three videos on the channel. These three videos are going to explain how to frame the answers and also show you some sample answers as well. In fact, for a more detailed prep, you can work one to one with me. So we can do a one to one session which will help you in clearing your doubts, frame your answers and preparing you as per your profile for the visa interview. Once you're done with all the answer structuring, come back to this video and take the mock interview. The way we have prepared this mock for you is based on the recent trends. So looking at all the interviews which have happened in the last three to four months, we have collated the questions and prepared this mock interview so that you are exposed to all the questions which are being asked currently in the US Embassy India. And we know that some of you are going for masters and some of you are going for bachelors. So we have prepared two separate mocks. The first mock that you're going to see is for people going for the masters program. And the second mock is for those going for the bachelors. And here's how you can make best use of this mock session. So put yourself in a quiet room, turn off all distractions and listen to the questions. So after each question, you're going to hear a beep sound and then there's going to be a gap. This gap is the time for you to answer the question. And also the gap is the approximate time you're going to have in the real visa interview as well. So try to wrap up your answer within this gap. If you get interrupted and the next question comes up, just move on and answer the next question. So cover the entire mock session one by one, taking each question and once you're done, we're going to assess your performance and see how you did. So let's get started and jump into it. Good morning. Pass me your I-20 and passport. When did you graduate? What is your CGPA? Why is it on the lower side? Did you have any backlogs? If yes, why? Can you explain your final year project? Have you written GRE?
Are you working currently? Explain your roles and responsibilities. How does your work experience relate to the masters in US? I see that you have a gap in your profile. Why do you have the gap after your undergrad? What do you plan to study in US? What will be your specialization? Why have you chosen this specialization? Why this course? Can you tell me your first semester subjects? How many universities did you apply to? How did you choose these universities?
You have only one admit, why just one admit? Why did you choose this university? Who's your sponsor? Do you have a loan? How will you repay this loan? Why have you opted for an unsecured loan? What do you plan to do once you finish the course? Why do you want to study this in US? Why not your home country? Why should your visa be approved? I can see that you were rejected earlier. Can you tell me what has changed since your last rejection? Congratulations, your visa is approved. That was a mock for people going for a master's program. If you finish the mock, you can skip ahead to the analysis section. And next up in this video is going to be the mock for people going for bachelor's program. Let's get started. Good morning, pass me your I-20 and passport. When did you finish your school?
What were the subjects you studied in your 12th? How much did you score in your 12th? What were the subjects that you really liked? Have you written SAT or IELTS? What have you done in the gap year? What do you plan to study in US? What will be your major? Why do you want to do this bachelor's? What are your first semester subjects?
How many universities did you apply to? How did you choose these universities? Which state is the university located in? And what is the nearest airport? Why did you choose this university? Who is your sponsor? Can you explain the financials of your sponsor? What do you plan to do once you finish the bachelors? Do you plan to do your masters in US? What kind of job opportunities will you get in India with this bachelor's? The same bachelor's program is available in India as well, so why US?
Do you plan to work under OPT? Convince me to approve your visa. What will you do if your visa is rejected? Do you have any family in the US? Congratulations, your visa is approved. So that was the mock. How did you feel taking the mock? Did your heart race? Did you actually feel the interview pressure? If yes, comment down below and let us know. So let us know in two to three words what are the exact emotions you felt when you took the mock interview. And now that the mock is done, it's now time to do the assessment. So as important as taking the mock is to assess your performance and to see how you've actually done and what are the areas you can improve. So check back the recording. So I hope you recorded yourself during this mock session and assess yourself on these four parameters. Number one, the content. Listen to what you're saying, the words that you're using and assess the content of your answers. Was it generic? Have you used too many filler words or was it specific to your profile? Did you use instances and examples from your background, your academics and your work experience? Rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 5 for this. Second parameter, fluency. How was your speech? How did you communicate in the mock interview? Were you fluent or were there too many filler words? Were there too many ahs and mm's? If yes, then you know how you stand yourself on the fluency parameter and again rate yourself on 1 to 5. Number 3, pace of speaking. How was your pace of speaking? Were you so fast that it was difficult to understand what you were saying? Or were you too slow that you did not have enough time to even finish your answers? Your pace of speaking has to be somewhere in the middle, not too fast that the visa officer misses it and obviously not too slow that you're not able to even finish what you have prepared. A moderate steady pace is what you should be aiming for. And trust me, this comes with practice. Even if now you feel that the pace is either up or down, as you practice and as you observe yourself, you are gradually going to fall into the perfect pace of speaking. So rate your pace on a scale of 1 to 5. And lastly, but most important, eye contact and confidence. The USA visa process is a completely interview and an interaction based process. Documents are very rarely asked. So how you present yourself, how you maintain the eye contact and interact with the visa officer is a big part of the game. So observe your body language, were you maintaining eye contact, were you looking directly at the camera and how did you feel? Did you feel a sense of calm and confidence or were you nervous and sweaty during the visa interview? And rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 5. So there you have it, content, fluency, pace of speaking and eye contact. 
and your rating and this is going to give you an assessment of how you have performed and what are the areas you need to improve on and trust me this is an iteration process just one mock interview is not going to cut it you need continuous practice so put in time in your calendar to practice at least three to four times every single day leading up to your visa interview and you will see that gradually there's going to be an improvement in your performance and improvement in the way you speak to take an actual mock interview with me you can do that so the link for that is in the description box below so we can do a mock interview session which is going to be very close to the actual visa interview and we'll put you through the mock and then do the analysis and give you feedback on the areas that you need to correct and the answers that needs to be restructured and apart from this we also have the detailed packages we have the seven day course and we have the core package and all of these includes multiple sessions which will cover answer structuring ds-164 and mocks so do check out all of this so that's all for this video if you have any more questions feel free to leave it in the comment section below and you could also dm me on instagram my instagram handle is at chachi.mal we have a lot more useful content coming up in the f1 visa series so stay tuned for that signing off for now i'll see you in the next one bye